Hello and welcome to Group 10's video demonstration. In this video I'll be showing you how our Minecraft bioreactor works. Let's get started. Firstly, to start we'll need to wear some PPE gear to make sure that we abide by the lab rules and stay safe. Uh, here is me wearing my PPE and let's head to the bioreactor. Each bioreactor has their own lab assistant, and when they are responding, which is not all the time, they have six options, which is fill the bioreactor with PBS, fill the bioreactor with yeast, empty the bioreactor, set up the impellers, and uh, put scaffolding on or scaffolding off. For the probe subtask, we'll need to fill up the bioreactor with PBS. Here you can see our probe setup. Um, they are positioned between the corner and the middle, and two of them are at the bottom and two of them are at the top. Uh, this is to make sure that they can cover as much of the bioreactor as possible to take the most accurate reading. The paths of the electrodes also don't cross each other to make sure that there is as little noise as possible. The gain is measured as R3 over R2 in both channels, so when we wanted to measure the gain, there were actually five different combinations we could make, from 0 0.1 all the way to 1000. And we went through each combination to find out what would be the most optimum gain setting to use in our 24 hour run. We then had the option to change the frequency, the multiplier of the frequency, and the voltage, of which we only changed the voltage and the multiplier, since those were the things that would make the most difference, and changing the frequency while changing the multiplier wouldn't make much difference. To measure reading of the amplitude, we press this button, and usually it will give us a value, but right now it doesn't seem to be working. For the combination of impellers, we went through every single combination that had Rushton impellers used because according to Bioprocess International, they mentioned that the Rushton type impeller would be the most suitable to use for growing yeast. For the baffle combination, we used numbers from 0 to 4 since we were unsure which one would yield the best results, so we tested all of them. For the impeller diameter, we decided to use all the values from 20 to 50 in steps of 10 percentage to test out which value was best. For the stirring speed, we decided to use 150 to 240 RPM because too fast would end up killing the yeast and too slow would not give the yeast enough nutrients. We decided to use the temperature at 36 degrees since the Masoma Corporation mentioned that the optimal temperature for yeast growth was 35 degrees, so we went with the closest value. For the water level, we decided to use 7 since our sources mentioned that the water level for the bioreactors are usually at 70%. Lastly, for the yeast concentration, we decided to use 40 grams per liter. To measure the mixing time, what we have to do is tell our lab assistant to empty it and then we fill it with yeast set up the impellers and then we measure the mixing time yeah since it's not working we don't get a reading but usually we would have a reading and that's how our bioreactor works thank you for watching